How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle versus Mamba in the OU tier from the Discord server. Looking at their team, it's really solid. They've got the Shiftry, the Pelipper, the Milotic, the Yanmega, the Gudra, and the Quackable. Gotta watch out for the sweeping potential for the Quackable, of course. And that tail, if they've got Tailwind on this team, with Shiftry and that Wind Rider ability, that's gonna be a, ooh, a big oof. A big oof. Gotta remember that um, we can't hit the Shift Tree with Hurricane. <laughs> Gotta remember that, Jack. Gotta remember that. So, I think I lead off with the Ninetales, but they might lead off with Pelipper. So, I might lead off with the Jirachi, just to be able to wall the Pelipper, because it is specially defensive. Um, and then we can just U-turn on it and go into the Alola Ninetales to get rid of the Rain. Um, rain doesn't look like it benefits their team too much, other than powering up Water-type moves and Hydration on the Gudra, potentially. Um, the Milotic is going to be a tough one to crack, considering we've only got Trevenant for it and Rotom to an extent. So, let's see how this plays out. And the battle begins, so Mamba's gonna lead off with Megan Yura, the Yan Mega. I love that nickname, that's really cool. We led off with the Jirachi, so obviously we don't want to take any damage unnecessarily here. Bug Buzz is gonna hurt, but I would like to get those rocks up because their only hazard clearer, I believe, is gonna be... Is your Shift Tree get Defog? I feel like they're a Wind Rider Shift Tree, though. So I feel like if you bring Shift Tree to an OU game, it's a Wind Rider Shift Tree. It's no Defog shenanigans, so... Rapid spin on the Quackle is probably was going to be. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks. We know, I know I can eat any hit from this thing. They go for the Ancient Power. They're trying to get that stat boost. If they get it, I swear. They didn't. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Because Yanmega with plus one in every stat is a very big threat to deal with. That's for sure. So um, now that we know what ability they are, because they haven't... Put, well, unless it activates after Leftovers. I don't think it does, though, does it? Speed Boost. Okay, so they are Speed Boost. They are Speed Boost, not Tinted Lens. So now, if we switch out in something, hmm, what do we do here? What do we do? I say we Meteor Mash. I, I think Jirachi, if we're going to win, it's with Jirachi against his Yanmega. I think that's definitely the only way to go. Yanmega is one of the Pokemon we need to get rid of for Trevenant to have a good time as well. So they go for an Air Slash. It's going to do nothing. Fair enough. It's going to maybe flinch us. We go for a Meteor Mash. It's going to do minimal damage. But it's still damage at the end of the day. We're trying to take on this Yanmega easily peasily. I think they're expecting us to switch Jirachi out. But we're not. We ain't. We ain't. Now nothing outspeeds this Yanmega. Even Rotom Wash with its Choice Scarf doesn't outspeed. So we've got to be very careful. Let's go for a, a Meteor Mash real quick. And they should realize we're going to stay in now. And probably go for a Bug Buzz, right? So they do withdraw the Yanmega. They realize it's probably not the best matchup in the world. And they're going to go into Close That Mouth, which is probably the Pelipper, right? Yeah, the Pelipper comes in. Get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is great. We go, for, we get the Drizzle up as well, which is always nice. We go for a Meteor Mash. We hit the Meteor Mash, get some Chip Damage off, and get an Attack Boost as well. So if they do U-Turn here, and they go first, which I don't think they will, because even though we're specially defensive, we're still, they're probably defensive or something, right? So I go for a U-Turn here. I definitely go for a U-Turn every single time. Um, I can definitely take a Surf from this thing or a Hydro Pump. We go for a U-turn. Now I've got to switch into something that can take a Surf or a Hydro Pump. Um, they probably don't go for a Hurricane because it's Jirachi, but they did just Air Slash an Ancient Power my Jirachi as well. So I think my best play is Ninetales. Get rid of the rain. Because looking at their team, Alolan Ninetales, there is no switching on their team to Freeze Dry. Gudra is probably the best bet. So they get the knockoff off, which is unfortunate. Knocking off our Light Clay, but I'm still going to go for the Aurora Veil regardless. Just to get it up and just to make sure our team can actually take hits like a champ. So they're going to withdraw the Pelipper. They don't want to get hit by no freeze dries. They'll definitely take out the Pelipper. They're going to go back into the Yam Mega. Obviously as a sack play or something because that thing was not waste. It's not even got heavy duty boots. Damn, that Stealth Rock damage is intense. Right, we get the Aurora Veil up. We're, we are good to go. Alola and Ninetales can pretty much do away with this thing. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for that freeze dry. There is no reason not to go for Freeze Dry right now. Freeze Dry comes through. Takes out the Yam Mega, which is absolutely fantastic. Down it goes. If they had Protect on that, I would have gone for the Protect just so I can get that extra damage off on the uh, Ninetales. But it is what it is at the end of the day. In comes Katara, which is going to be the Milotic, right? Yeah, the Milotic. How did I guess? Katara is a character off of Avatar, the last Airbender. Um, and Katara is a Waterbender, uh, a female Waterbender. So Milotic makes sense. It's a good nickname. It's a good nickname. So, 
We definitely want to switch out here. What do we want to go into, though? Because they probably go for a skull. Uh, does it get scold? They probably go for a scold. I say we switch out into... Hmm. I say Rotom for now. Just because we don't know what they're going to go for. They might go for a flip turn. They might go for a scold. Let's see what they do. So we'll go into Rotom real quick. There we go. Rotom comes in. They go for a recover. They're trying to stall out the snow. I think. So they're expecting a freeze dry there. They wanted that extra turn so they could get the Marvel scale defense boost, um, which is fair enough. Now, I would trick, but I don't want a flame orb. I think I go for a Volt Switch here. I always go for a Volt Switch here. We go for a Volt Switch, get a bit of chip damage off. Takes them right down with a critical hit, which is amazing. And that's going to send Rotom back into the good books for me. I, I, I've been using Rotom for a while, but now I'm just like, ooh, Rotom, eh? Rotom. So, let's go into Trevenant. If they do Scald and they burn us, we can just switch out. We've got Natural Cure, so we don't have to worry too much about that. It's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. They do go for a Scald. Is it gonna get the burn? That's the real question. Critical hit. And no burn. That's nice. So, the critical hit was not, was not nice, but the burn was nice. So, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. So, let's go for... If we expect them to go Gudra, we go for a Poltergeist. We go for a Poltergeist. So, they do go for an Ice Beam, which is going to sting. Not too much, though. And it gets the Freeze. Are you kidding me? What is this game? What is this game? We're frozen solid? That's just not fair. That is just not fair. So, obviously, there is a way around this. All we have to do... I mean, the Aurora Veils just wore off, which is unfortunate. All we have to do is just switch out. We'll get... We'll D4. That's the natural cure. There we go. And we'll go into Ninetales, we'll get the Snow back up, we'll get the Aurora Veil back up, just to give us a bit more, you know, a bit more. So we get the Snow Norning off, which is great. And um, they go for a Recover, that Milotic is going to prove to be a pain in the backside, I'm telling you now. It is going to prove to be a pain. It's going to prove to be a real pain. What's with all the critical hits this game? Crazy. Anyway, let's go for an Aurora Veil, and we'll get those screens back up, because they are important in this game. So they do withdraw. They obviously don't want to get hit by a freeze dry, which is fair enough. But what do they switch in? Flopsy, that's going to be the Gudra, right? Yeah, Gudra comes in nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gudra's specially defensive AF. It can definitely take a freeze dry or a moon blast, no problem. We go for the Aurora Veil, though, and that's going to be great. So um, what I need is a switch in with my um, Trevenant so we can go for a Poltergeist. That's what we really need. We really need that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a moon blast just to get some damage off. See what they go for. Encore them into it if it's favorable. And see if we can get Trevenant in. So we go for the Moonblast. It does a decent chunk of damage. They go for a Toxic. Fair enough. Toxic comes through on the on the um, Ninetales. I didn't realize Goo Dragon a Toxic, to be honest with you. But it makes sense. It is a Goo Dragon. It is a Goo Dragon. A poisony Goo Dragon. It should be Dragon Poison. Should be. I think it'd be so much better if it was Dragon Poison. It'd have something for the Fairies. It'd be a really good, really good start. So... Um, now I go for an Encore. Encore them into the Toxic so that they can't do anything. And then we switch into Trevenant. Trevenant's not too bothered about the Encore. We go for a Horn Leech. Because they're obviously going to switch out. So they do withdraw Gudra. Interesting. And they're going to close that mouth, which is the Pelipper, to get the Rain up. Fair enough. It's going to take some Stealth Rock damage, which is great. And Pelipper is one of the Pokemon we need to get rid of for Trevenant to do anything. We go for the Encore, obviously it fails, but it's fine. Um, we can we can live with that, it's no problem. And now we just go for a Freeze Dry. There's no reason not to. Ninetales actually puts so much pressure on that team with Freeze Dry. It's actually crazy. Freeze Dry comes through and takes out the Pelipper. There we go, so Pelipper goes down. Not a bad start. Not a, I say a bad start, we're halfway through the game pretty much with the timer. Get Swiftry. <laughs> That's a really cool nickname. I love that nickname. So they're going to come in with the, um, the uh, whatever you call the shift tree. I'm going to go for a freeze dry because this is also one of the Pokemon we need to get rid of for Trevenant. If we want Trevenant to do anything, it's going to be this. So we go for a freeze dry. Will it take it out in one shot? They live. And they go for a tailwind. Okay, now it's just got... Dicey. So they're going to get that Wind Rider boost, which is going to boost their attack. Their speed is doubled. We are no longer in the snow, so we are very susceptible to a Leaf Blade right now. And the Aurora Veil wears off. So what do we do? I'd say Moltres. I'd say Moltres. 
Moltres sounds like a good shout. A good shout. Let's go into Moltres real quick. There we go. In comes the Moltres to ruin this shift tree's day. They go for a hurricane special. I didn't expect that. Let's go for a U-turn real quick. We know we're going to get outsped. They probably go for a knockoff, I would guess. They are going to terrestrialize. What type are they going to go into? Seems like a bit of a waste to terrestrialize a Pokemon that's basically dead. Flying for that extra hurricane damage. Fair enough. Fair enough. I didn't realize Shiftry... Well, Shiftry can either be special or physical, right? I didn't realize Shiftry got hurricane. That's awesome. So Hurricane comes through, it's Terra Flying, it's going to do a lot more damage, and it confuses us. So if we get fully confused here, Shift Tree's going to go through us. Shift Tree's going to ride on through. Watch us get fully put confused. We didn't. We got a U-turn off, which is going to KO the Shift Tree, which is great. Down we go. So there's a lot of hacks this game. There's, you know, a bit of a freeze, you know, um, some crits here and there on both sides. Um, but overall, it's been a pretty fun game. I just, I just really want Trevenant to do something. I just really want it to. So I'm going to go into Ninetales. We're going to go Ninetales. We're going to get that Aurora Veil up. And once the Aurora Veil's up, then we are going to be golden with Trevenant. You know? And Ninetales is nearly dead. All we need is for one, one of their Pokemon to come in, KO us after they get a um, Aurora Veil up, and then we go into Trevenant. So let's see how it goes. Alex and Larry the Gourmet. The Quackable. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. So this thing definitely KOs us with Aqua Step and then gets a Moxie boost. We have a full team of six. So do I really need to worry about that? I don't know. I think we go into Rotom here. <clears throat> I think Rotom's the best switch because we can take an Aqua Step and then we can still outspeed the next turn because of Choice Scarf. And then we can paralyze this thing. That's what we need to do. So they go for the Aqua Step, which is fair enough. Does a lot of damage, boosts their speed, and now, I mean, they might, I'm pretty sure we outspeed. The leftovers as well, so no extra power from an item, which is good. Good to note. Quackerville could still do this. So they've got the Tailwind, Tailwind petered, petered out, which is great. We're going to go for a Thunder Wave because we want to paralyze this thing, no, no questions asked. They withdraw. They don't want to get Volt Switch, which is fair enough. And they're going to go into the Gudra, but we are going to go ahead. We are going to go ahead. And we're going to paralyze this Gudra. Not that it really matters. So let's go for it. There we go. Thunder Wave comes through. I know you're probably thinking Choice Scarf plus Thunder Wave. What's the deal? Well, basically, it's because after I trick, I want to be able to start to flick something. No one expects Thunder Wave from Choice, you know, Choice Scarf Rotom. But after I've tricked it away, it's a whole different set. It's a whole different set. So I'm going to go back to Ninetales and try and get Aurora Veil up. And then we'll go Trevenant. We'll go for that powerful Poltergeist and go from there. There we go. Withdrawing the Rotom. Obviously, we don't want to stay in and just spam Thunder Wave. That's not a very good time. We're going to go into Ninetales. There we go. They go for a knockoff. Gudra just knockoff? I didn't know Gudra got knockoff. That's pretty cool. So this is more of a utility Gudra, which is interesting. So please don't tell me the snow is going to wear off this turn. I don't think it does. We get paralyzed, though. There we go. We've got an Aurora Veil up right now. Um, which is going to really help Trevenant. It's going to really help Trevenant, that's for sure. Aurora Veil goes up. So we've got it for five turns, which is great. Which is just great. So they go for a Skull. They get Skull as well. Which is going to leave us on one HP. The Snow does stop this turn, but it's fine. They're going to get some leftovers recovery, and we're going to go down to the Toxic. So we do lose a Lola Ninetales, which is unfortunate. But what can you do about that? And um, not a lot, really. So, Kushel goes down. And now is the time. The Trevenant to come in. We've got the Aurora Veil up, so we're taking hits for days. We just go into Trevenant and we go for a Poltergeist. That's all we need to do. Poltergeist. Let's go for it. Let's just go for it. Poltergeist comes through. We do connect, which is good. And down goes the Gudra. There we go. Poltergeist is such a powerful move, man. In comes Katara the Milotic. So, what we need to do now is Stealth Frog's going to dig in, which is great. Um, we just go ahead and sack something off. I'm going to sack off Moltres because they've got a Quackable and a, a Milotic left. We do not need Moltres for anything. Just sack it off, bring Trevenant back in, go for that nice and powerful Horn Leech. We should take out the Milotic even through Marvel Scale. They go for a Recover, which is fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. 
This next turn, they can just go for a skull and take out Moltres now. And I'm pretty sure Horn Leech still KOs from Choice Band of Trevenant. So, um, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for a Terror Blast. Just go for a Terror Blast real quick. So, they go for a skull. They are speeders, which is good to note. Down goes the Moltres. And now we just bring Trevenant back in. So, they outspeed Moltres. They obviously outspeed Trevenant. That's no, no questions asked there. So, let's see how this works out. So, let's go Trevenant. Autumn comes in. Looking good, looking good. I love Shiny Trevenant. It's such a cool Shiny. So we still got the um, Aurora Veil up for one more turn. Let's go for a Horn Leech and get all our health back. So they go for an Ice Beam, but we are going to tank that. We are going to tank that. Are we going to get Frozen again? No. Horn Leech comes through, takes out the Milotic through Marvel Scale, and gets us all that health back. Down goes the Milotic, which is fantastic. Trevenant putting in the work right now. Absolute pulling in the work. So the Aurora Veil does wear off, which means we are susceptible, but we are bulky. We are quite naturally bulky, so we should be able to take an Ice Spinner from this thing, no problem. They already terrored, correct, with this Shift Tree. So let's see how this works out. We don't need to terror. Or should I terror? Yeah, I should terror Dark, just so that we can live an Ice Spinner. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to terror. And hopefully they don't make this read randomly and go for a close combat. I don't think they will, but if they do... That's bad. <laughs> bad for us. Very bad for us. Very bad for us. So let's see how this works out. So Trevenant is going to trash rise into a dark type to take the ice spinner bear. They go for a knockoff, which is now not going to KO us. Does get rid of our choice band. But I'm confident this Horn Leech will still KO. Nearly. Very nearly. But we get all that health back. We get all that health back. And now, the great thing about this is, we still win. Because even though they can go for a close combat now, we have the Terra Dark Sucker Punch, which is going to finish off this Quackable no problem. There we go. Terra Dark Trevenant, ladies and gentlemen, coming through for us right now. And that's going to be the game. So GG Mamba. That was a pretty fun game, to be honest with you. There's a bit of hacks, some questionable plays by my opponent and probably by me as well. But it happens. It's just the game we play. But anyway, here's the team. If you want to try it out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.